All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. So I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I am definitely enjoying it. I think everybody else is enjoying it as well. I enjoy the the Pathfinder game. You know, we're starting out simple. I mean, we're level two, I believe. So it's nothing. You know, we're not power gaming it right now with 18 attacks around and everything. So. It's a, uh, it's been a fun start. All of these guys in this game are brand new to tabletop game. Well, not just about all of them are, are new. Uh, but there's, uh, I had one, uh, Faye. He played basically uh, in the service back when he was younger. Uh, Gims played a little bit, but for the most part, everyone else is brand new to tabletop games for the most part. As far as I'm, I think David may have played a little bit as well. I think he's done a little bit of D and D next or something, but but it, there's not a whole lot of experience in the group. So, but it, it's been fun and it's been a learning process for all of us. So <laughs> that's really great that that wolf was <laughs> totally just <laughs> covered up by this damn Grick. Man, that was that was so great. I loved it. All right, so real quick, one more time. Let's see who the high bidder is for the Devon Knight uh, token pack. Let's see if it's gone up a little bit. No, it's up to 400 now. Nice. Uh, Fadakin is at 400. So yeah, get that, get that up. I mean, you guys get your, you guys get experience for free. So you get a point every five minutes. You get points by lottos you get points by giveaways you get points by hosting viewer one shots on sundays you get 500 freaking points i give 500 points to people that host games and if you donate to the channel you get 20 points for every dollar you donate and that's how i buy the packs is all the money that goes to you know the donation button so that's how we get these packs so if you donate you get 20 points for every dollar so there you go i just changed it from 10 to now 20 so there you go that's how you get points guys and hopefully i'll have this uh this bot working a little bit better as well so all right enough of uh my talking uh we're gonna get back to uh, the game and like i said guys i hope you guys are enjoying it uh, because I'm really enjoying Pathfinder, it is definitely growing on me. Uh, but like I said, it's not grown on me like 4th edition has grown on me. I really love 4th edition. Uh, but, yeah. Pathfinder's pretty damn good too, so. Alright. So I'm going to get back up there and get this going again. <laughs> Kadojo, man. He's always getting his shit under the stick, man. Let me tell you. Oh, Alright, sorry about that. Kadojo, you're always on the short end of the stick, man. Welcome back. Thanks. Alright, so... This this thing as as soon as you heard something rattling up in the the vent above you as soon as you look up you just see this sort of like a like a like an octopus beak basically with you know four tentacles just basically just wrap on your face your neck and your whole upper body area so I'm gonna give you uh, some attacks uh, with multiple s uh, man this is Grick man holy crap. Gricks get five attacks around, guys. Oh come on! Four tentacles and a beak. It's awesome. I love. Yeah, but it's not a lot of damage, though, man. You could take. Ew. You could take at least half a round from this thing. <laughs> I snap to attention and salute him goodbye. <laughs> Good night, my Can sweet quick, prince. <laughs> Question. The finger, real quick. Sure. What's up? Real quick, Grant. Uh, the, his tail is in the pot. Isn't he getting burned? No, he's not. That's just the, the token going over in that direction. So, All right, so first off, uh, he has the element of surprise, so you are flat-footed, and what is your flat-footed defense? I guess I'm just going to try to put my arms over my face. 
Okay. And what is your flat footed defense, though? So? Oh, I. Uh, I should say flat footed. I believe flat footed is with no dex bonus, if I'm yeah, not Yeah, so it's just a 10. Oh, I love this. Alright, so uh, his bite lands. Alright. His bite does. Four damage. Now, let's see. Does this creature have eyes? Trying to uh, determine something here real quick. I don't know if I want to be as ruthless as I'm going to be. All right, so this is what's going to happen. See how many it's going to take to kill you in one blow. First tentacle lashes out at you, Wolf, and he misses. Yay. Second tentacle misses. And I'm giving a negative. Actually, I'm giving a third one hits. Take three. Last one, he lashes out. You get hit lastly for two more points of damage. So you get hit three out of five attacks. Yep, so it, yeah, it's it's not too bad. This thing just goes into a like a uh, fist of flurry, man. Just whoosh, all these all these tentacles are snapping around you, and then he he sinks his choppers right into your neck and you guys are you guys all hear this turn around and you guys are like what in the hell you guys have never seen anything like this before you see this thing spank, spank my ass. <laughs> all you see is a couple <laughs> arms flailing around that's that's all you see right so the hey, bad thing hey, about these bricks uh oh. this is a this is an aberration so no, he's well, with, definitely not with an all animal. those tentacles, he might get an animal. Ah, uh, bum bum bum. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just—they have a magic resistance of ten, so Japanese porn. <laughs> on I can't, I can't do that because this thing mind. will kill the entire party. So I'm going to give it a little bit of resistance against non-magical weapons, but not the full Monty like. Like the the monster manual calls for uh, initiative. Uh, so yes, uh, you were yeah. Everybody, go ahead and roll initiative. What is the uh, initiative on this bad boy? Two. Two. Oh my God! Guess what rolled first? Are you kidding me? Dun, dun, dun. Dun dun dun! <laughs> man and down, man down. Dun dun dun! All right. <laughs> He's gonna lash out again at you. Uh. All right. Let's see. We had a. Did you target your token, Almond? Yeah, I don't know why it keeps acting up. Uh, did you change the macro at all? I possibly did, but I don't remember doing it. Let me check it for you real quick. Oh yeah, you definitely changed the, uh, you knucklehead. Well, I fiddle with all of them. Stand by. It's in my Stand, nature. by. Stand by. Let me, let me fix this for you. Hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. It's in my nature, Captain. I gotta touch things. People just gotta freaking touch things. Yeah, but I touch with a soft touch. All right, target your token and try it now, sir. Yay! Thank you. Yep, no problem. 
Not a problem, dude. All right. So, what was your what was your first roll, by the way? A six. So I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. put your six in there just to keep it a uh, keep it real, homie. Yeah. Keep it real. Got me a got me a six. All right. If so I the Grick nine, actually. A oh my gosh. Bum bum bum. So the Grick rolled first, guys. The Grick is gonna get more attacks on Wolf Swift. Can, can oh, we just get man. like one attack in? I will, I will allow you to do a salute <laughs> as the ship is sinking. <laughs> That's exactly what the chinchilla does. And the ferret. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Wolf, but I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna I'm gonna sink the choppers into you again. I gotta at least sink the choppers, so twenty versus armor class. That's a hit. <laughs> So you take two more damage from the bite. Uh, As he takes the bite, I yell at him, Can I have your Xbox? Wow, he's just getting hit with like... First tentacle misses. Second tentacle hits. For two damage. Third tentacle reaches out towards... Okay, he you you go down so <laughs> Wolf Swift collapses into a slumbering mound of flesh, and the Grick uh, turns his focus towards Bach and lashes out two times at him because you are within the you know same area as well. So Bach, you get hit. First hit does ooh, max damage at five. Second tentacle outreach. It's uh, what is a what actually? What is your armor class? I'm sorry, Bach. Fifteen. Okay, uh, actually, you do not take any damage, and both of the the tentacles miss you. I'm sorry. I'm 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 used to chain attack and wolf. I I totally neglected to get your armor class. So, uh, both of these tentacles kind of snap out at you, and they both miss. They come close, but they miss. Sounds All right. Like somebody's in berserker mode. So Blix, you are currently How far down is Wolf Swift. You you're not able to determine that, but he is down. That's all you're able to determine. And and this Grick just lashed out at Boktago or Bach for short. So uh, what are you doing, Blix? Are you are you going over to heal or or what? What the, what would the party suggest? The, heal it, or attack? If he if he heals, he's going to take an attack of opportunity. Uh, oh, congratulations, Michelle! Welcome to the party tonight. If you've got yeah, if you've got a uh, if you've got any sort of a rain spell, he's going to start bleeding out. I got uh, I got my uh, light crossbow. Here's hoping up. Uh, I actually hit. Mm. Okay, you use your. All right, go ahead. If you oh, roll a critical. one, dude, <laughs> if it's a critical fail, dude, you're gonna give Wolf one for the road. Ooh. Get familiar with that. Uh, not trying to be funny or smart or anything, but read over that. Uh, the death card, the hit points card there, Bach. So, uh, eleven. Your attack. Basically, the you fire a crossbow bolt. And it comes close, but it goes over the it goes over the top of the of the grick, and and you miss it. All right. I reload with my mood a move action and pass my turn. All right, Bach, what are you doing, sir? I'm gonna cast virtue on Wolf Swift. All right, and what does virtue do? If you could, uh, uh for one minute, it infuses a creature with one health. Very nice. So all of a sudden. Dying. You start to see some light, as you, you don't remember anything, Wolf. You you notice that all you remember is just the taking a an onslaught or flurry of attacks as you're trying to spin circles and get this thing off of you, as you're whipping this thing around, and all you remember is waking up. So uh, you are coming to. Uh, you can see some light. But that's all that's going to happen right now. So how much am I healed for? You have one hit point. 
I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. Yep, that's one. All right. So nice, nice job there, Bach. And that's a spell, if he I'm not mistaken, right? You, he basically yeah, healed you zero. just enough okay. so that you understand that you're in pain. Okay. Now, a mechanic of Pathfinder, yeah. Bach, is called the attack of opportunity. And any time that uh, something is within uh, an adjacent square or five feet from you, if you do any kind of ranged attack or any kind of magical spell, then you leave yourself open for an attack of opportunity. So as you, as you do reach down to touch Wolf Swift or cast your spell or whatever you do, the Grick is able to get a free attack on you. And he, he definitely takes that attack. Is it a plus one for the bite? Ooh! Bite is four. And I miss with the bite. So this thing latches onto you with a couple of his tentacles, pulls himself towards you, snaps at you with his beak, and you notice that he has a very long, pointy, sharp-looking, razor-like beak. He misses, and then he goes back. But you're able to get your spell off successfully. All right, so Swift... What are you doing? Because you are just coming to, and uh, the attention of this thing is not on you at this moment. But this thing is on top of you, so and you, and you have just came to. So, so I can't move out from under it without alerting it. Yes, and if yes, I mean that's up to you. Me personally, I would just fake it and play dead, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna fake that, it, play dead, but I'm gonna also have a hand on my dagger. I mean, you can you can also look at your you can look at the movement actions as well. So, I mean, you can. I believe if you take your uh, your free action to uh, take a five foot step, I believe that you can. I think you can slide one if you're crawling yourself i think it's one of those weird rules in the in the player in the the core rule book so i'll have to look that up later so yeah, yeah just, you can take a five foot step or you can withdraw yeah yeah but he's a, basically he's much. prone anyway so i mean he just is coming back from being unconscious so he's you know he's basically prone anyway so i, I think the best thing for you to do would just to be stay down man stay down right now and then uh, we'll get a, bit, a little bit better clarification on that, and because uh, I know that there's some weird things as well. I, but you know, we'll look that up after the game. So I've got that written down, and we'll check it out. So. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna play dead, but have my hand <laughs> close to the dagger. <laughs> and you're just coming too, so you're really not. You're you really don't know what the hell's going on. So, all right, Gimli, you're up. Man, you saw Wolf Swift could just get annihilated by this thing. I'm going to approach it, and I'm going to hit it with my war hammer in the head. And I missed. <laughs> if you hit me, I'm going to kill you. That's close. Dude, don't throw your, don't throw your uh, hammer in the fire, either. Yeah, oh man, that would suck. That would really suck. Alright, Gim, you missed. Amon, you're up. Okay. Um, Tonight's game is not Dungeons and Dragons, but I wasn't able to change it because Nightbot was down, move, so I couldn't log in to change it. So I can move through a fellow traveler without a penalty, right? You can do what? Yeah, you can travel through someone. Like you can uh, move a step and go through Malaval to take another step to get here if you're wanting to go there. If that's what you're wanting to do, hide in a corner. Uh, no, actually, what I want to do is... Give me a second. Leopold, you love those hashtags. Love hashtag. Okay, that's within my... I'm just learning brain. about hashtags. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step behind Gim and cut in front of Blix to the other wall so that I can get next to Wolf and my intent is to grab him and drag him back like 
one square away from it since it's facing Bach. All right, so that I think sense. that's a. I think you're wanting to do a combat maneuver. All that so grab and I grapple like and bullshit like that. I think oh, that's. Like that. Well, I can move for free, but then I'll have to roll once I get to him. Well, let's look right? up. Uh, well, hold on one second. We gotta. We gotta sift through these tons of rules. Pathfinder has. Hold on one Pathfinder second. Uh -huh. Okay. What I'm trying to do is pull him a little bit of a distance away from it. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to find well, the official way of, of doing this. So, uh, stand by one okay. second. Oh, you guys yeah, are killing me. I just want to be on. clear on what my action is going to be. All right. Grab is. Uh, let's see. It's a uh, actually it's an extraordinary yeah, ability from a monster. So I, I don't see anything about uh he's not gonna fight me he's kind of pretty much dead grapple. weight yeah i think under, grab is uh, a monster skill maneuvers, yeah yeah but he's not grapple. he's not gonna resist uh, me in any way not like a monster would i'm gonna say yeah i'm, I'm gonna say that you can you can grapple him at a plus four because you're 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 not trying to he's not trying to dodge it. I mean, really, he's just coming to. So I won't give you the penalty and for that. And I'm not going to pick him up. I'm just going to I'm just going to drag him across the floor one square. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, but you're going to okay. You can do that. But you're going to take an attack of opportunity when you do that. So. You can go ahead and do that with no penalty at all. So you're trying, you're taking your uh, combat maneuver bonus versus his combat maneuver defense. So it's your CMB versus him, his CMD. So what is your CMD, Kadojo? It's towards the top of your sheet. Combat maneuvers are these special types of, you know, charges and grapples and and stuff like this. So there's, these are part of the the new rules that we inherited when we moved from beginner box set to core rule book one. So as we get use them more, get more familiar with them, uh, it'll go a little bit quicker. So, all right. So what is your combat maneuver defense, Wolf? Wolf, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm trying to. It's at the top where your level XP and, and all that stuff top is. Top right corner. Okay, okay. A 13. All right. So, and your CMB, Amon, is, is, three, uh, is, a, is a standard roll plus three plus my strength. Correct. Which is four. So I roll a 19 against his... Well, your CMB is a total of 3. So it's your base attack bonus, which your base attack bonus uh, as a level 2 rogue is a 1. So your strength modifier is a uh, plus 1 as well, so that would actually mean your CMB bonus is a 2. Oh, your special modifier is 0 because you're a medium creature, so... Uh, that would be yeah. Your CMB is a two, so you're gonna do a D20 plus two uh, versus the okay. 13, but is a hit anyway, and you're able to to grab him. Now uh, you're able to you. I'll let you pull him one space because of, uh, but you're gonna take that attack of opportunity. So you know as you as you come to this square to to grab him. The, the Grick is gonna grab on to you and, and chomp at you. Okay, you. That is a twenty-one versus armor class, which I believe that's a hit. That's why I was asking if I could go through a square that uh, Grim was on. Well, no matter how you look at it, you got to get adjacent to grapple him. And when you when you grapple him, you're gonna take that attack of opportunity. 
There's no way of avoiding that. There's just no way to avoid it. So you can. So, so if I go, so if I was to go um, behind, like diagonal. You got six squares of movement. You got this. You were right here. So, so I can't one. Make that move right there. Hold on. One is Malaville. Two is the corner. Three is Blixwise Square. Four is the square directly below him. Now, where else are you wanting to go besides there? That's where I was going to go, and then just drag him straight to the wall. You in can't. The square next to him. That's impossible. You got to get close to him. So, moving to where you're at now is five. You successfully grappled him, and I'll let you pull back one square, which you'll be here, and then he'll be here. But when you do that, you're taking that attack of opportunity. Wolf was... He was back one square, wasn't he? No, Wolf was right here under him. This was your fourth move right here. Your fourth, okay, first, he, fourth square thought, movement. Okay, I guess... I saw his I saw his token in a different square. He's been Sorry here. That. That's right. He's been here for the last two rounds. So, uh, where did you think he was? Where I'll move. I thought he was. I was seeing his token but, there. Well, oh, no. I did move move my token real quick just to get a good look at. Oh, the, that's uh, right. Because you wanted to see what it looked like. Oh, okay. That's yeah. where I got confused. Here, let me uh, let me kind of. This is what it looks like. A little bit larger, so you can see the beak and the tentacles. This, that's a, uh, I believe this is a Devon Knight token. Pretty good detail. Yeah. But that is. Oh, okay, that's where I got confused. He moved because he wanted to see it. I yeah, that was I, where he was at. I guess he wanted to see it. I, I seen him move over there and then move back real quick. So, but you can do it. So there you go. Do you want to do that or do you want to stop there? Or? And then pull him. Okay, so you're able to get him. I'm going to move tokens real quick. I'm going to give you the attack of opportunity, which uh, it was a 21 versus armor class. He does hit. And he bites you for a total One of people. 5 damage, max damage. Uh, but Wolf is, is pulled. So now you have the attention of the Grick again. It is not the Grick's turn. Not yet. So, all right. Wait, who has the attention of the Grick? The Grick is turning in, in your y'all's direction now, so Malaville, you're up now, sir. Uh Michelle okay, won the lot of zero. So right here. see now we're not doing any and, giveaways uh, tonight. Let's I'm do another to lotto. With my dragon sword. Okay. Nineteen. Uh nineteen is a hit. And that is 